Hi, I received some questions regarding energetic protection. And the first one is how to think about protection. What is complete protection? And the question is, or in a way the statement is, complete protection is the reflection of all invading powers. And yes, this is true. Like if you are able to deflect everything coming at you, then nothing can harm you. But this in itself is almost unattainable. The problem is that we need to be open to energies. We need to sense what is around us. We also need to feed ourselves. So we need to breathe, we need to drink, we need to eat. But also our energy bodies need to connect to our spirit, who need to connect to the divine, need to connect to the earth. And if we block all those connections, then also we will suffer and starve. So in that way, complete protection is not always a feasible option. So rather I would say that the best protection would not so much be a passive protection, where you build a big wall around yourself, but that you develop the ability to react appropriately to things which are troubling you. So it is good if you're able to filter out all the things which are merely harmful, which you don't need, which are just distractions. So that is a helpful part of indeed having a good protection. Um, the other thing is also to develop the sensitivity that if through these energy channels which you have to keep open, the connection to spirit, to the divine, um, to the earth, to your food, to your environment, to your family, to your friends, if you can realize when even there is poison being administered through these energy channels, because it is only a very, very stupid or primitive a person who will attack you head-on with a frontal assault trying to overcome you through brute force. And usually the enemy will be much more tricky. They will try to influence your loved ones, uh, your pets even, uh, to carry certain charges uh, like curses or negative energies into your space or into your energy body. And the risk of course is for that you go completely paranoid, that you become very afraid of your own family, of your own friends, thereby you isolate yourself and uh, you go a little bit funny in the head, go insane, but you also become very unsupported. And if you have nobody else to help you, then also you are vulnerable to a frontal assault because you alone cannot stand against a group. So you need to have that group, but that group itself is also a risk factor. So you have to weigh the situation a little bit, like what is the situation like? How much support do I need? How much danger is it to have this support? So is it better to see my parents or to spend some time with my family or is it better to avoid them right now? because they will do more harm than they will do me good. And ultimately winning an energetic contest is very much about tenacity, much more than it is about strength. If you can hold on longer than the other one can, then eventually they will give up, they will get tired of it, um, they will forget about you, they will give in. So it is much more about keeping going than about being strong. It's much more about conviction, strength of character, strength of personality, uh, having a clear purpose, willing to devote, willingness to devote yourself to it, having self-discipline to keep on going at it, which are important parts of a good energetic protection, rather than just creating a big shield or a big wall around yourself. These shields and walls are very good on the short term, but on the long term they will not serve you. 
and short term things it is fine if you're having a conflict which lasts maybe a few days or a week at most but some energetic conflicts can last for years or even decades and in these circumstances you cannot keep walls up every moment of the day for decades and they can wait you out while you're holed up. Eventually you have to come up for air and what will happen to you then? So I think it's very important not just to work on your ability to shield yourself but also on the ability to heal yourself and able to transform and uh, possibly also reprogram the energies which are sent at you. Many of these attacks are carried out by spirits and these spirits themselves are often forced to do it and you can turn them into your allies by setting them free, by giving them an opportunity, by giving them what they need to move on, which they've been hoping to get as a reward from the other mage who is attacking you. So this can be a very good strategy to use. The other thing is indeed reprogramming things and sending them back. If they're throwing a curse at you, well, grab it and throw it right back at them. And it can be that they find it very easy to deal with the curses they make themselves, but some people are throwing curses around while they themselves don't have a proper protection against it. So sometimes just grabbing it, taking hold of it and saying return to sender will be more effective than just trying to block it all out. One other problem with trying to block everything is also that your consciousness tends not to be big enough. Um, we have a very limited consciousness and usually we're only looking at a certain slice of reality. So now we're looking at the physical world, we're not seeing the lower worlds, we're not seeing the higher worlds. So an attack can always come from a place where your consciousness is not at. And if your consciousness is not there, your energy is not there. So your protection tends to shift together with your consciousness. You think you have a wall completely surrounding to you, that is true on that level of consciousness. But as consciousness moves, it is more like a ring which will deflect everything which is coming on that same level. But it won't deflect things coming from other levels. And of course you should improve your consciousness and see if you can stretch it more into a tube rather than a ring so you will be shielded or aware on several levels at the same time. But this is a very difficult thing to do and uh, especially if you're getting um, faint. So a person is attacking you on a certain level, your attention goes there and because you're now looking there you can slip a knife in your back <laughs> from a very different level while you're being distracted. So if you're fighting with one person it's not that difficult. If you're fighting with a group or several persons working together it can be immensely difficult. Ultimately your ability to defend yourself is also limited to your own strength, to your own power. How much energy can you generate? How large is your consciousness? But of course, by practicing, you can get better at it and better at it. But as far as I know, there is not a person who is completely impervious. And I find that the best um, yeah, fighters in the energetic worlds are people who have achieved a state of enlightenment so that many things can happen to them but there will not be add-on effects. So for instance you create pain in them or you create anger in them but just because they have pain or anger that doesn't mean that they cannot fight anymore, that they get distracted, that they lose their focus, that they become afraid, that they become demoralized. So in one way they are not invulnerable because you can do things to them. In other ways they are invulnerable because what happens to them has no real effect on their spirit. Their spirit itself cannot be overcome. Only their instruments can be 
hampered and damaged. But also for a person who has achieved enlightenment, it is not that difficult to have some decent self-repair capabilities and to keep on going and going and going. So if you really want to be safe and protected, I think striving for enlightenment is a very good option for getting more or less of an immunity uh, against attacks. Uh, similar to having a vaccination, like the disease still exists, the virus can still enter into your body, but it will not manifest a sickness, a disease anymore. And I think that's conditioning your body this way not to, in a way, allow the problems which eventually will come into your system to harm you. Uh, I think this is the best way to, uh, to deal with it and to get an, as perfect protection as possible. But that's just my opinion.